Hi everyone! Wow, it feels like a really long time since I've actually talked to the camera. <laughs> I've been doing more like voiceovers. Um, but yeah, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing great and that you all had a fantastic November. Um, as we are heading into December, I am very excited to announce that this video is in collaboration with my lovely friend, Julia Perez. She's either going to be on this side or that side. Not really sure. But we have partnered up together to create a very soft, glam, holiday-ish makeup look using some of our favorite makeup products. Um, I am incorporating one new makeup product in this video that I'm very excited to try out for y'all in front of the camera. It is also my first time using it, so tune in for that. We'll link all of Julia's information below in my description box. Um, so please don't forget to give her a follow as well as subscribe to her channel and go and watch her video and see the look she created as well. Um, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm very excited uh, to go and watch. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me here. I know I've been a little MIA, um, but I'm super happy to bring you guys this video with one of, um, with someone I definitely consider such a sweet, sweet friend on social media. And I hope and cross my fingers that I get to meet her one day. She is freaking awesome. Um, so if you guys wanna see how I created this really pretty, soft, glam, glowy, oh my God, I can't believe how glowy it looks. Sigar viendo. Keep on watching. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna go in with to prep the skin is the Vesca beauty soft sun radiant skin i'm going to use the shade first blush which i really like this shade just because it's really going to give a nice um luminous base the whole point of this video too is using products i haven't used in a really long time so one of those being the nyx cosmetics born to glow naturally radiant foundation which is this gorgeous little guy over here I'm in the shade Neutral Buff. I don't know if I'm the same shade anymore. I believe I bought this. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze the tiniest bit of them. Just gonna squeeze the tiny amount, a tiny amount on the back of my hand. And this is a buildable foundation. I've been liking to apply it with this Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. Um, and then going in with a so this is a little, I think it'll just be fine. Then blending in with a beauty sponge. So I really hope you guys take the time to go through and watch me and Julia's videos. She's someone that I feel like I met, I'm really bad at time. I feel like I've known her or met her last year maybe? Julia, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but she is someone that has been such an inspiration to me on Instagram as well as on YouTube. She's such a sweet soul. I love how personal, personable she is, um, someone that I can really relate to. Um, and then she also has a daughter, which I think is so, so freaking cute, and I love when she posts about her. Um, yeah, and we've also had back and forth conversations, like personal conversations, um, which have really, I feel like, have helped me through um, some bumps in the road, if you will. And it's just so nice to find people like that on, on Instagram and YouTube. Like, who would have thought, you know? Okay, wow. I forgot <gasps> how beautiful this foundation is. Oh, I just wet the... And to be honest, I do not need to run a beauty blender, I'm sorry, a beauty sponge on top of it because that blended out so freaking beautiful. Wow. Okay, next for, found, uh, for concealer, I'm going to go in with a holy grail of mine. This is a love-hate relationship for many beauty peeps, but it's one of my ultimate favorites. That is the Hourglass uh, Veil Concealer. What is this called? Vanish Concealer. I wear the shade Beach. And for this one, you just have to go very light-handedly. And if you need more, then you build it. And I'm just gonna go in with this beauty sponge. I need a... Oh, 
I will go in with one more layer of concealer because this is a very soft glam um, makeup look so I want it to be as I want it to be natural but I do want to cover up any like imperfections so my dark circles are a little dark today but I'm just gonna let that dry go in with the Illy, the no the Lila B B radiant or the Lila B virtuous veil concealer and eye primer and B radiant to conceal these little guys and I'm sure I've mentioned this before but if you're new here if you are into clean beauty um, they're a little pricey but I really love this as a um, alternative to the NARS um, soft matte concealer although I might just go back to that one once I'm done with this because I cannot I think this is like 45 or something way too much money for brows i'm gonna go in with the m cosmetics brow cream i wear the shade espresso this is also one of my holy grail brow products this is something i reach for on the daily it just lifts the brows and combs them through very nicely and i don't really have thick brows but i do like that this makes my brows look oops, fluffier and fuller without having to fill them in not really an eye primer girl but yeah not really an eye primer girl but i do like to set it let me get a powder and to set it i'm just going to use the bare minerals bare pro uh performance wear powder foundation i am going to use the shade sandalwood 15 so since this is a holiday soft glam look, I am going to go in with a new palette that I'm super excited to use, and that is going to be the Bare Minerals Good Tidings Eyeshadow Palette. First of all, the packaging is freaking cute, and that is how the palette looks. To set, I, mean, I know I set it already, but I do want a little bit more of a white uh, base on my eyelid. So as always, I'm going to use my little clean, my brush cleaner color switch thing. Um, and I'm going to go first into the shade Candlelight, which is this really pretty bone shade in the palette. And I'm going to go in with the Sigma E40 brush and kind of just pop it on the crease here. The shade that's really calling out to me is a Ginger Snap, which is this really pretty kind of like orange toned rustic color if you will and i'm gonna pop that in the crease Ooh, this is also my first time using this palette so i'm excited to see how the formula performs so that blended out beautifully and softly and it's not patchy and from what I see there's no fallout and this color is gorgeous and I'm just gonna do the other eye okay next I'm gonna go into the shade bronze which is this shade over here I'm not sure if you guys can see the shade it's this one right over here um, and I'm going to wet it because it doesn't have much pigment on its own and I'm going to use this Bare Minerals Expert Shadow and Liner brush. That's really pretty. Their shimmer shades are not my all-time favorite. I feel like they're kind of hard to really um, put on the eye and to really get that pigment, like I really have to wet it. Um, but once I do it, it looks good. All right, now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so I do like this combo. I'm just going to put a little bit more I want to build that bronze shade on the lid because I want it to look very bronzy. Okay. 
So that looks really good. So this is going to be a little different for me. I'm actually going to go into the shade Holly, which is this really pretty green shade. And it looks like so on this hand right over here. And I'm going to pop that in the inner corner just to give it a little bit more of a festive look. And I'm also going to wet this one just to kind of give that more of a festive look in the eye. But when it comes to makeup, I really love simple but like memorable looks. Um, I just like, and I think that just kind of goes with my personality. Like I don't really like complicated stuff because then I just get sort of like, eh. So I just like always seek to do something that's a little bit more like a pop of color or a pop of color in the inner corner. Um, but I'm not really one to do a lot of graphic on my eye. I wish I was, but I'm just not. And that's one thing I also like, I love about um, Julia's makeup are easy to achieve and they're inspirational for someone who is like me. Um, like in the sense of like simplicity and achievable and effortless. So I love that. Um, okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm just going to mix um, Ginger Snap and Candlelight together. Pretty. I need chopstick. I'm going to put a little bit of this Kosas wet lip oil. So I just want to be a little bit, little bit more festive. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my pinky. I'm gonna go into Magic Hour, which is this gold shade here, and just pop that in the middle of my lid. Pretty. And then from that same brush I used to do the gold, I'm gonna use this little liner brush here. And I'm gonna use the shade, I'm gonna use the shade Hmm. Dove. It's like kind of a gray shade, but I'm just going to do a very light eyeliner with it. I haven't done this in so long. Can't really see it, so I think I'm just going to go with Still Night, which is that black shade in here. Very light wing. That pretty much finalizes that look on my, for my eyes. And I'm just gonna really speed through the face. All right, so for a bronzer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Island Ting Powder Brush. I love, love using this Hourglass brush. It is so freaking soft and just hugs and disperses the bronzer so freaking perfectly. Just a nice wash of color. You know what? Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put a little bit more concealer. Okay. Ooh, see that difference? That really like bright brightened up. Okay, for blush. Since I do want to keep all of my attention on the eyes, I'm going to use this Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. Looks like so. That's really pretty. And you know what? I'm actually going to pop that a little over the crease to like bring that look together. Um, okay, and then for highlight, un momento. For highlight, I'm gonna go into this Mellow Cosmetics Stardust Glow Palette. I'm gonna use this shade right over here, and that is the shade Luna. I've really, really been liking this highlight. I love that it's a powder, but it looks wet on the skin and very natural. And it just like blends and sinks into the skin beautifully. And then a little bit on the bridge of the nose. Wow, 
Wow, I forget how I look with makeup now. <laughs> and I love it. So I'm going to just quickly run some mascara on my lashes and then we're gonna choose the lip color. Okay, so for mascara, I used my Ilia Limitless Mascara. For the lips, I am going to just take off the lip oil that I had. I'm going to use the uh, Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Iced Latte. One of my all-time favorite lip liner, too. I just love this color. Um, and then for lips, I am going to use the Vesca their new um, Lush Glow Creamy Lip Oil. I love this freaking formula. This is in the shade Morning Glory. Ooh, this looks so freaking cute. All right, y'all, and that basically finalizes my soft glam holiday-ish collaboration with none other than the Julia Perez. Um, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and found it maybe a tad bit inspirational if you just want to throw on some makeup this holiday season. Of course, be safe. Please try your best not to go out um, during the holidays, but I know how fun it is for some of us just to apply some makeup, wear at home, um, and take photos in and share with one another. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to support me and Julia on these platforms. Um, I wish you all a very happy holiday. God bless you, and I'll see you all next time. Adios.